a mother brought to my attention. She doesn't know how to handle this. She found in the son's bedroom a condom. What do you do? Okay. This is something that's come up in my practice many, many times. And the ironic part about this is usually the parent is looking for marijuana. They're looking for drugs. And they don't find the drugs. They find the condom. Which is worse. Well, to the parent, actually, it, it's it's little uh, the, the condom that seems to blow them up, blow them away. They weren't expecting it's a surprise aspect. They're thinking drugs. Meanwhile, suddenly they realize their fourteen-year-old son is having obviously it, at least preparing to have sex or has had sex. Um, okay, rule number one: you don't go charging into the kid's room the next day or when he gets home from school. Uh, waving this thing at him and um, yelling at him and condemning him and criticizing him. How could you? Your child has hormonal desires, needs. They're, they're going through the system. They're starting to become aware of the opposite sex. It's, it, it, obviously, it's in all the media. And thank God he's using a condom. So to me, at least, if you, if, if, in a way, it's better you know your child is doing it and using a condom than if you didn't know it and they weren't using a condom. You should have a little bit of a family meeting and make it sort of regular. And also explain, there's a, there's a big risk. In some states, if he's trying to have sex with a 14-year-old girl, he could be labeled the rest of his life as a sex offender. The girl may not, but the boy will for sure. And that is a tough thing to go on to school, college, and get a job. I don't know what's right or wrong, but at least communicate. Tell him, this is what you, we're not condoning you doing it. If you're going to, thank God you may be thinking that way, but yeah. still, it's not something you should be doing. I'm here. Let's talk it out. Let's put some brakes on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can hold the kid back a little bit longer. Well, there's a pediatrician I know who talks about teachable moments. And this is a teachable moment. You, the par I cannot stress enough the parent should not panic just because your son has a condom or your daughter has some kind of birth control device doesn't mean they're going to be a drug addict and be promiscuous and become a prostitute, etc. Um, basically, you have to be a, an adult about this. You talk, you, you introduce the topic, you ask them, uh, you start talking about, in education, um, look, these kids, you, you speak to them about, are you feeling pressured to do it? Peer pressure. Are you feeling, especially girls sometimes get pressured by boys into these activities. So, you're not Condemning, you're just genuinely asking a question. What, you know, what's your motivation? Why are you doing this? Oh, I love him. Well, you say you love him, but what would happen if you didn't have sex with him? Would he leave you? You really investigate this. If you do this, you can turn this into a wonderful moment because you can ask, make the girl realize that perhaps she's doing it for the wrong reasons. And just like, and what you said is so crude. I'm running into a lot of this now where I get, four, just like you said, 14-year-olds or 18-year-olds or who have been now classified Literally, legally, they're a registered sex offender.